Crypto Twitter thinks the Fed's $297 billion balance sheet expansion is but it's not according to some observers. The latest expansion in the Fed's balance sheet is not outrightly stimulative like the one seen following the coronavirus-induced crash of 2020. Alex Thorne head of firm-wide research Galaxy here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat Alex Thorne head of firm-wide research Galaxy here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat Alex Thorne head of firm-wide research Galaxy here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat Alex Thorne head of firm-wide research Galaxy here Alex Thorne share his take on Bitcoin and inflation. It's complicated at consensus 2023. Secure your seat. The U.S. Federal Reserve's Fed balance sheet expanded by $297 billion to $8.63 trillion in the week of March 15, reaching the highest value since November. The sharp increase has crypto Twitter saying that the world's most powerful central bank has restarted quantitative easing. Or which involves buying assets like government bonds and mortgage-backed securities to inject liquidity into the financial system. Initiated after the 2008 crash and following the March 2020 crash expanded the Fed's balance sheet by trillions and stimulated asset prices, including cryptocurrencies. However, the recent balance sheet expansion stemmed mainly from banks borrowing short-term loans from the central banks to cope with the crisis of confidence triggered by the collapse of three U.S. banks, including the startup's focused Silicon Valley Bank. Kiss increasing the balance sheet for follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.